This is not a unique phenomenon. That was one of the things I learned as I probed into this, this topic, having started out with a few uh, period documents. Um, there was something similar going on in the Portuguese Empire and the Spanish Empire. It's a, it's a specifically Catholic thing. There's a, there's a kind of a Protestant variant, but, but it's essentially a, a Catholic phenomenon. Um, there are differences too, however, that I think are reflective of the different kinds of imperi European imperialisms at work. So um, there are lots of stories in the Spanish uh, Empire, in Spanish America, of the kind of, the, in quotation marks, the pious Indian, you know, the good Indian who does what he or usually she uh, is told and prays a lot and s suffers patiently and so on. Um, the difference in the case of Garita Caguita is I felt that the, the, the hagiographic texts, the, the religious biographies that were written by, about her at the time gave her much more personal substance and, and recognized her for a, a full human being of another culture. And I think that's, I don't want to go too far here, but I think that's partly reflective of a specifically French and specifically New France um, uh, kind of an attitude that uh, um, al allows a, a bit more of the sort of reality of another culture and the full humanity of another culture to come through. And this doesn't mean that there isn't tons of when we read it as contemporaries, we notice the condescension, the sense of European superiority. It's definitely there, but it's not the only thing that's there. And there's a, there's a discernible difference between French texts about Gaudry de Gaguita in the context of early Canada and, we'll say, uh, analogous uh, works about so-called pious Indians in, you know, Peru, Mexico, and elsewhere.